St. David's Pipes, how's it going? State Pipe, Middleton Mariner. Still smoking the Peter Stoka by Stoka B. Night slice. Anyway, let's talk about yins. Yins is a word used in Pittsburgh, the surrounding counties, most of western Pennsylvania. Up in Erie, it kind of fades out. And even in the panhandle of West Virginia, the eastern Ohio area, uh, the border counties of western PA use this word, yins, for everybody, uh, all of you. So I thought I'd do a little history about yins. Early in the 17th century, now I'm reading notes, so excuse me for looking at the notes. Early in the 17th century, Pittsburgh was settled by the Scot-Irish. The Ulster Scots who lived in Northern Ireland, the northernmost county of Ulster, they immigrated to America mainly Western PA, and then from here, Western PA, they continued going south into the Appalachian Mountains. Now, at one time, with their thick Scots brogue, probably mixed in with an Irish accent as well, since they lived in Ulster, they would say, you ones. Well, somehow... Over the decades in the United States, well, it was colony of Great Britain then, they were using, like I said, you ones, but somehow this evolved, evolved into yins. Now, yins became more popular as immigrants from other parts of Europe, Italy, Poland, Germany, came to the Pittsburgh area to work in the ironworks, the pre-industrial uh, area, well, not the pre-industrial, but the industrial era of Pittsburgh before the steel steel was invented. They, there were ironworks here. And a lot of these immigrants came to this area and they adopted the word yins into their vernacular. So you would hear... You would hear in broken English, uh, these immigrants from Europe, who uh, English was not their native tongue, saying yins. I found that very interesting. Now, during the American Civil War, a Confederate major was inspecting his Yankee prisoners. He overheard one saying yins. He immediately told his subordinate, those yanks are from Pittsburgh or about, as I was there years ago on business. <laughs> so, the people in western Pennsylvania, they say yins with pride, like the southerners say y'all with pride. Uh, it divides all racial, all cultural. Uh, everybody says it here. And it may be incorrect English, but there's even those who are well-versed in the English language. I've been to commencements at colleges for friends, children, and my own son where even the professors used it. They say it with pride. So, anyway, I thought, I thought you'd be a little interested in learning where this yins came from. This very, very uh, regional word. It's not widespread like y'all is from... Texas, all the southern states, and now y'all apparently has, it's everywhere you go. Everywhere you go now. But here, 
it's just a regional, maybe 15 counties, including Eastern Ohio, the Panhandle, West Virginia. And uh, once you go east, once you get out of the Allegheny Mountains and you start heading into the flatlands of Harrisburg, Lancaster, uh, the uh, up on the New York border, uh, in elk country where we, yeah, we have a population of elk in um, northern PA, you lose this yens. And definitely people in Philadelphia do not say it. So this is just... Uh, just a special thing that we say here. Uh, some people don't like it, but uh, I just found that interesting. Just some interesting tidbits for you on the word yins. Hope you're doing well. Have a good day. Hope you learned something. Bye now.